السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وعلیکم السلام ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ کبیر بھائی کیا حال ہے الحمدللہ اپ سنائیں اللہ کا بڑا احسان ہے اپ کو جمعہ مل گیا جی جمعہ سیکنڈ جمعہ سیکنڈ اچھا ٹھیک ملاقات ہی ہوگی اس کا مطلب ائی ایم ان دا فرسٹ ون اچھا اپ چلیں جب ہم نکل رہے ہوں گے تو اپ آ رہے ہوں گے ان شاء اللہ جی جی السلام علیکم جی وعلیکم السلام ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ طب بھائی ہاؤ ار یو الحمدللہ الحمدللہ ڈیڈ یو رجسٹر فار جمعہ یو آلریڈی گاٹ اٹ یو ار اسکنگ می یا 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 نو نو آئی ہیو ناٹ می بی نیکسٹ ٹائم بس ٹمارو از گڈ فرائیڈے سو دے ہیو فور جمعہز دے ہیو دے ہیو اسکیجول فور جمعہز Okay. So, so if you feel like it, just walk in, then maybe the fourth one, you might find us. Uh, okay. around, it's going to be around 3.45, the last one. So what's the gap between every it's prayer? It's like 1.30, 2.15, and then uh, 3, and then 3.45. 45 minutes in between, I think. 45, okay. what they have done is uh for salam jawad bhai assalam alaikum kaise hain they have put that uh, they have put the tent outside so there are a couple of tents and uh, so there this is where you're going to be praying inshallah so take your mat uh, like a prayer mat with you and uh, no wudu facility so you have to make wudu from home okay. and wearing the mask is mandatory kare dena kya apne naam So how many people are allowed? Out 50. 50 people. 50. Okay. Okay. So, 50 people so far. Let's see. Maybe another minute or so. Okay. Waalaikum salam. Waalaikum salam. Waalaikum salam. Waalaikum salam. How are you? So where are you praying Juma to you tomorrow? Uh, for now we will pray uh, in our hall house like Oh I see I see, I see. Yeah. okay inshallah all right that's good I think it's very difficult yeah, to manage now Yeah well uh, most masajid are they have put the tent up for this uh, outside or outdoor prayer so most masajid are offering salah outside so, I think uh, there's no news from Fraser Musab Okay, okay. But Richmond is, inshallah, so if you feel like it, as I was yeah, telling Brother yeah. Altaf, the, fo- the fourth Juma might be where you may end up finding a spot without any registration. Okay. Okay. We will send for the next Juma. Inshallah, inshallah. Okay. Inshallah. So, let's start, inshallah. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasooli al-kareem. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajeem. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, once again, we are here, uh, inshallah, going to continue our learning. So today, the format of the class is as such that I have chosen a few verses uh, from Surat Al-Isra. Uh, we will go over them together, uh, test a little bit of our knowledge and understanding. Uh, and then we will do, as usual, our uh, review from this, this document. right is any did you since i uh, shared it with you guys so did anybody get a chance to look at it yet i take that as a no so then i will yeah, inshallah I do program, yeah. not for this week but normally i do yeah. okay and then inshallah we'll go over some vocabulary so inshallah. let's start with the suratul isra اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان هذا القران يهدي للتي هي اقوم ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات ان لهم اجرا كبيرا so just uh, you know maybe in your own words uh, can if you give me an idea that uh, read it goodly and tell me how much do you understand just by looking at the words how much do you understand maybe one by one brother um, javed translation wise yeah like when you read this verse now 
knowing the fact that mashallah you've been studying arabic for more than a year now alhamdulillah what is i think 95% how many percent 95 i think mashallah mashallah okay brother javed let's start with you just just a minute i, I can you go to somebody else I, okay I brother altaf let's say brother altaf so i think i 90 to 95% i can Mashallah. i can wow yeah. wow that's very good brother kabir about 60 65% 65% okay so if we look at uh, each word on its face value let's do that exercise today uh, so if i start with word inna so what is few things you can talk about inna brother kabir Inna, uh, uh, no, indeed, the meaning is indeed. Okay, uh, meaning is indeed, okay. But from, and, uh, yeah, it's yeah. a special, it's a special harf. It's a special harf, okay. What do we, we uh, what do we call them? Inna akhwatihin. Uh, Inna wa akhwatuha, okay, very good. At least you remember that part. So then what, what are these uh, roof known as? Known as. I forgot. I don't. Okay, uh, brother Amir, brother Amir, brother Fawad. Yes. You want to tell me what Inna is? Uh, inna certainly is. Uh, well, is okay, so Inna is uh, her her right, or we we call it Haruf. But yeah, what yeah, is yeah, the name? Haruf Mushabba Bil Fail. Right. So that is the information I want to hear from you. Now, in what kind of uh, do they come with fail or they come with uh, ism only? I think it's ism. Ism. Okay. So if they come with ism, what kind of sentence are we dealing with, brother Altaf? Jumla ismia. Jumla ismia. So when they come in a jumla ismia, what kind of role they have? Inna, are, especially, I, it's an emphasis. It's okay. it's a uh, uh, sorry. Uh, little bit explain what exactly the question is. So question maybe. is that if if inna is huruf mushabba will fail, and we also know that it has sisters. There are five other sisters, so we call them inna and akhwatuha. They usually come with the uh, ism. And they are normally in the beginning. Inna is usually in the beginning of a sentence, which is normally a nominal sentence. So, what is the effect of inna on the sentence? That's the question. Oh, no, sorry. Mansub. Mansub. Uh, what is mansub? Uh, fata. Yes, but what what do, what do you mean by mansub? It it makes something mansub. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay, so what does it make mansub? The ism, like the Quran, which is the fata on the noon of the Quran, is because of inna. But Quran is the second word. Uh, first so, is haza. I think uh, haza is mubtada. Mubtada is okay. One at a time. So, brother Kabir, you were saying mubtada. What? What about mubtada? It, mubtada is normally uh, rafa. But because yes. of this, I think it's it's take, it change into of uh, nasab or nasab. Mansub. That's right. That's correct. Now, the, and Javed, this is what you're trying to say that when inna comes, it changes the muktada to nasab. That's what you're trying to say. That's okay? what you said. Yes. So now the question is, uh, when there is inna, do we still have muktada? Yeah. Should be there? Should be? That is the question. If you have inna, then what happens to muptada? What is the effect of inna on the sentence? Okay. So what is her? Yeah, it takes over. It takes over. Yeah. Ah, right. It becomes ismo inna and khabro inna. So you cannot call it muptada and khabar anymore. You call it ismu inna. Muptada is known as ismu inna and khabar is known as khabro inna. 
So that is the most important part you need to remember this. And this is the same effect of other uh, sisters of Inna. So what is the meaning of Inna? Indeed. What is the meaning of Haza? Yes. Yes. Al-Qur'ana. Okay. So indeed, this is this Quran. Okay. Yahdi. What is Yahdi? Guidance. Guidance. Right. Guidance or is it a fail? Guide. Guides. Guides. That guides. indeed this Quran guides. Lillati iya akwam. What is Lillati? The one who. The one that is. To the one. Lillati. Okay. Hiya, it or she, right? Yes. Yeah. Akwamu. What is Akwamu? People. No. Nations. No. There is another word mean. Okay, when you say ikama, what is ikama? Kama, kama. Kama or ikama? Something straight, right? Something straight. So what is it? Inna, indeed. Haza, this. The Quran. Yahdi, guides. Lillati, to that. Hiya, akwamu, which is most straight. Okay. Then what is the next sentence, uh, Brother Kabir? What is Yubashir? And, and, and this is you uh, glad tidings. Give yeah, glad tidings, right? Yubashir. Give to who? Al Muminina, the believers. Here, what is the status of Al Muminina? Nasab or Jar? Nasab. Okay. And then it gives glad tidings to the believers. Allazina. Those. Those. The one who. Yamaluna. Who act. Who do. Who, who do the deeds. As -salihat. As -salihat. The righteous, the righteous deeds. Righteous. Anna lahum. Yeah, indeed. indeed. Anna is that, right? Yeah. Inna is yeah. indeed. Anna is that. Anna, yeah. lahum. Lahum for. So, so, sorry, brother Abid. Uh, I, I have my notes. You mentioned that if uh, Inna is coming in between the sentence, it's Anna, and the meaning is the same. Yes, that's right. But the one of the meaning of Anna is that. So, what is okay. the question is that indeed. This is the Quran which guides to that which is the most straight, meaning it is it guides you to a straight path. Well, you yeah. must share and give glad tidings to the believers. And who are these believers? Those who Yamaluna do salihat, righteous deeds, as salihat. Anna lahum that for them ajran, a reward. The reward Kabira. A big reward. Okay. Great. Yes, great reward or big reward for people who are believers. So this Quran guides uh, people who read it to the right path or to the straight path or to the straight talk and is a glad tiding for believers who do righteous deeds. Anna lahum ajran kabira, and there is a big reward for them. So not only we are trying to understand. But this verse should make us feel very happy because Alhamdulillah, whether good or bad, but we are the Mumineen. Yes? Okay. So surely, somebody has their uh, azan on. Uh, okay. So surely this Quran guides to what is most upright and gives good news to the believers who do good that they will have a mighty reward. Now, I mean, remember that this brother, uh, Dr. Mustafa Khattab, is the one who rewrote some of this translation. So it jives in our regular English. So inshallah. So then the next verse. So brother Abrar looks like you're here now, mashallah. Yeah. Okay, brother Abrar, could you please do the honor and read this verse for us? Okay, so can you, do you, do you know, do you have any idea what this verse is about? Can you translate it? 
وأن الذين لا يؤمنون بالآخرة وأن is that they are and that those who la do not believe not believe after after the hereafter okay. so and though and that those who do not believe in the akhirah what happened yeah. to them atadna lahum adaban alima atadna mean we prepared we prepared adaban alima indeed a severe punishment for them alima is painful azaban is punishment lahum is for them so wa anna allazina those who la do not yu'minuna bil akhirati in the hereafter atadna we have prepared lahum for them azaban a punishment alima a painful is azaban alima what kind of status are they in nasab nasab mashallah <coughs> alima is Uh, is a nasab, right? Okay. Now here is a point. If we say punishment, and then we say painful punishment, so brother Altaf, you might be able to answer this. So what kind of phrase is this? What kind of fragment is this? Murakkab tosifi. Murakkab tosifi. So sister Fazila, you were saying something. So it's adjective, right? Or? Adjective. Yes. So azaban alima. So we say painful punishment. So it is murakkabe tosifi. So which one is the mausuf here, and which one is the sifa? Azaban is mausuf and alima is sifa. Sifa, very good job. And that yeah. is the reason that both of them are in nasab, and both of them are uh, singular. Both of them are male, and they are both nasab. Why? Because The sifa and mosuf they follow each other in all the four properties. The sifa actually, I let me uh, correct that. The sifa follows the mosuf in all four properties of the the noun. Making sense? Yes. yes. So now what we have learned so far that that this Quran indeed guides to the right path. and the people who believe and do righteous deed they have a great reward in comparison to those those people who do not believe in the akhira allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared a painful punishment for them now this verse is uh, wa yad'u uh, brother wa yad'u uh, wa yad'u al insan bi okay so who can tell me what is yad'u means ah uh, yeah invites of all and something something to do with the dua call yeah wa yad'u call who al insan call the insan human beings human bi sharri du'ahu bil khair from the evil to the bit dua to the goodness okay so he makes dua for evil goodness Uh, the same way he makes dua for goodness okay goodness, very yeah. good so what can al insanu ajula what is ajula jalbas hasty ajal se right ujlat so insan is hasty and Amen. humans swiftly pray for evil as they pray for good for human kind is very hasty here insan mean human kind yeah okay Now I'm going to go to the sister Fazilat for now. Sister Fazilat, <clears throat> you want to tell me the verse and the uh, the meaning? Wa ja'alna al-mayra. Wa nahara atayna. Ayatayni. Ayatayni. What does that mean? What is wa ja'alna? And we made a uh, lil the night and the day. The night and the day. Ayatayna. 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 Sign. Two signs. Two signs, right? Ayatayni. Two signs. Is it uh, Musanna or Jama? Jama. Musanna. Ayatayni. Two. Two. Jama is more than two. 
So in Arabic, we have singular, we have dual, and we have plural. So ayatini is dual. So we have made the night and the day two signs. فَمَهَوْنَا آيَةَ اللَّيْلِ وَجَعَلْنَا آيَةَ النَّهَارِ مُبْسِرًا What do we get from that? Is the night hidden or um, visible? Hidden. And the day? Night. Day is visible. Day. 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 What is tab tabu? Uh, 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 want. They that want. You can. That you may Talash see. Padlam. Padlam mir rabbikum. What time you go for work? When do you go for work? Oh, during the day. day. During the day. Yeah. At night you sleep and you take rest. And in the morning when the day comes out, you go look for your sustenance. Right? People who go to office, people who go to work. So look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. That we made the, the night and the day two signs for Mahauna. Then we erased ayatan, the sign of the night, and wajalna ayatan nahari mubsara. Make it visible. Why the day is visible? Because so that you can seek fadlam, the bounty, blessings, mirrabbikum, from your Lord. From the Lord. Um, yeah. How do we keep our calendars? How do we count the days and the years and the month? From the, the days and nights. With the days. Days and nights. So after, after 30 days, we say, oh, one month is over. Right? So we know what day is it. We know what year is it. What month is it. So, so this is, yes. وَكُلَّ شَيْءٍ فَصَّلْنَاهُ تَفْسِيلًا فَصَّلْنَاهُ فَصَّلْنَاهُ yeah, tafsila. So tafsila. Brothers, you have to be very careful when you see seen and saw it. It's very, very critical. You have to make sure that the pronunciation is correct. Especially when you read in Duru Sharif as well. These are yeah. very critical meanings you change at that point. So make sure you make an emphasis on the tafsir or the, 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 the pronunciation of the saad and seen. Inshallah. Jazakallah, brother. So what is kulla? Oh. Everything. Oh. Everything. 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 Shayin. And every shayin thing. So, kulla is oh. every shayin is thing. Fassal nahu, we have explained it. Fassal nahu. In right? Detail. Tafsila from tafsil. In okay. So, what is tafsila? Tafsila is in what? Uh, Detail. Details. What is the Arab of tafsil? Noun. Noun. Nasab, right? Is the Arab is Nasr. Okay. We made the day and the night as two signs. So we made the sign of the night devoid of all, uh, devoid of light. And we made the sign of the day perfectly bright so that you may seek the bounty of your Lord and know the number of years and calculation of time. And we have explained everything in, in detail. Yeah. So far, so good? Alhamdulillah. Yes, sir. Now, let's look at the next verse. And this is what will be our lesson of the day is. Yeah. Brother, you are good with Tajweeth. Mashallah. So, Wakulla, again, and every. Wakulla, and for every man. We have fastened to him. Okay. Fastened to him. His fate. Ta irahu. His fate. Unuki. Unuki is is his neck. The neck. The bone. and we will bring forth. Lahu for him. What do we gonna bring forth? Yomul Kiyama on the day of Kiyama. Kitaban. Kitaban is a. Record books of Yalkahu Manshura, which he will find wide open. Okay, think about this, and, I, and I'm gonna give you a worldly example for this. 
so we have bound every human's destiny to their neck. And on the day of judgment, we will bring forth to each person a racket which they will find laid open. And look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say. Ikra. Read Kitabika. Your record. Kitabaka. Kitabaka. Your record. Kafa. Sufficient. Nafsika. Is yourself. Al-Yawm. Today. Alayka. Hasiba. Meaning. And yeah. it will be said, read your record. You alone are sufficient this day to take account of yourself. Yes. Oh, okay. So now think about it for a second in today's day and age. I just give you one example. If I go to uh, DMV, the Department of Motor Vehicle, they can give me my whole record in, in a less than a second and just give the paper in my hand and I, and I can read it and I can make my own decisions. You see, so think about it on the, the if, they, if there are supercomputers and, and microcomputers or artificial intelligence, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has built in that record in our neck or, you know, in a proverb that when we go there in the day of Akhira, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will present those rolls or what do you call them, uh, Abra? Scrolls. 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 99 oh. of them, wide open to them. And you can read it yourself and make your own decision because those every little thing, whether good or bad, will be listed there. So, so brother Abid, fi onokehi? Onokehi. Onokehi. So why neck? Is there any significant? I'm just uh, curious. Okay, so, so here uh, it says, uh, let me uh, see what look number at the one is. Of it. Okay, so uh, yes, uh, I can, anybody anybody already have an idea or uh, Bro, brother, I can I can I explain something? Uh, yeah? Uh, yeah, go ahead, please go ahead. It's... Yeah. So if you, uh, brother, uh, you know what? Our neck, our our tongue will stop at that point, and our neck will start to talk at that point. Allah says in Surah Kah uh, Surah uh, Surah Waqiyah. That book on that day will say, oh, this book has never lied. Okay. So when at that time, your tongue will stop talking and your neck will try to stop talking. That's the reason why. Your tongue will stop and your neck will start to say, no, this is what you are doing. That's the reason why your neck is actually mentioned here. Ibn Kathir, rahimahullah, if you leave the tafsir there, if I... He actually says that neck is the the voice box is in their neck. Remember that in your bio, Adam's apple is your voice box. That will start talking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here is uh, if you guys are interested in Ibn Al Kathir Tafsir, uh, you guys can read it. Uh, we were looking at verse number thirteen. Thirteen. So I will, so the first episode. No, not this. Uh, Next one. Keep going. Okay. Man taste and prayer against himself. That's one of the key words we just read, one of the verses. Then the night yeah. and the day are signs of the great power of Allah, right? That's another title. And the third one was uh, every person will have the book of his deeds with him. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So, you know, remember uh, when we read something in a Muhabara? The muhavra has a certain wording, but we extract the meaning from that muhavra. We don't take it in the literal sense. Correct. Taking sense? So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Unuki here, let's see what the, the tafsir says. So, and we have fastened every man's ta'ira uh, who? Ta'ira means ta'ira or ta'ira. Ta'ira, the word, the word yeah. being repeated. Yeah, so to these to his neck. The, the word ta'ira, literally, literally something that flies. The mean, because remember, Arabic may bird ko kya kehte hain? Ta ira. Right? Ta ira is also used for birds. Refers to man's deed which fly from him, as Ibn Abbas, Mujahid, and others said, it include, uh, includes both good deeds and bad deeds. He will be forced to acknowledge them and will be rewarded or punished, uh, punished accordingly. 
So whoever does good deeds equal to the, the weight of a speck of dust shall see it. And whoever does evil equal to the weight of a speck of dust shall see it. Right? And remember that the two receivers recording angels receive each oh. human being, one sitting on the right and one sitting on the left, to note his or her actions. Not a word does he or she utter, but there is a watcher by him ready to record it. Okay, so again, we can we can take it in a little sense that thinking about the neck, or we can think that the, the, the global or the high level meaning is that everything what we do is recorded. Okay, and in this day and age, we know that we, all our records are recorded. And if you ask somebody to give us our record, whether it is DMV, bank statements or electric bills, they can give me maybe uh, 20 years worth of data in a Minute, in a matter of minutes by giving me a statement, right? Then, I, then you cannot deny it because everything is written down, right? So if I argue with my uh, electric company that, hey, I, I paid the bill and they show me my statement and the bill is not there, obviously I, I'm proven wrong, <laughs> right? Similarly, the Hisab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will present to us on the day of Akhirah, and then it will be sufficient for us to read it and make our own decisions, whether we did right or wrong. Okay, so, so inshallah, it's, Chris, yeah, it's, go it's ahead. very interesting that now we can correlate the things and easily understand. Think about 100, exactly. years, 100 years ago. How and people it, may not even say, oh, how this is possible? Like these kind of questions may come, but for us, we can quickly understand and believe because it's it, it is possible. It's possible now. So Absolutely. that is why uh, Quran will, uh, you know, continue to surprise you. Every time you read it, you will get yeah. something out of it. So the main purpose of this exercise is so that we stay connected with Quran and apply our knowledge and try to, you know, focus or ponder on these things and then take lessons from it, not just read it and feel good about it. We need to take lessons from it. So what, whatever, whatever the lesson is that, from even from now on, we know that everything is recorded. So we start watching what we do. When you're on the street driving fast and you feel that you see from the corner of your eye, there's a cop uh, on the street. What do you do? You slow down. So, so when we know that somebody is watching us, we behave differently. Right. And it is easy for us to forget the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching us all the time. Right. So anyhow, that was the little exercise I wanted to do with you. Uh, and uh, I hope you feel and look at one more ayah and then we will switch over. So I'm not going to worry too much about the, the meaning. I'll just read it to you. But I will ask Brother Abra to read the Arabic so that we don't make any mistakes. Brother Abra. Mm, so whoever chooses to be guided, it is only for their own good. Meaning, if you feel that you're guided, you're not doing any favor to anybody else. It is for your own good. And whoever chooses to, to stray, it is only to their own loss. So this is a very, you know, open thing that you want to be nice, it's only going to benefit you. If you want to be bad, then it's only going to hurt you. So no soul burdened with sin will bear the burden of another one. So what I do, I go in my grave, I am responsible for my burdens. And we would never punish a people until we have sent a messenger to warn them. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't uh, send azab unless they have everything crystal clear in front of them through a rasul or like in our case, we got the guidance through uh, even 1400 years later from Rasulullah sallallahu and we believe this. Somebody was saying something? Brother Kabir, you had a comment? You were saying something? No, no, no. no. Okay. Is talking, yeah. So again, this, this verse should also straighten us that if we are in some uh, proud feeling that by praying or by doing good, we are doing any favor to anybody else or, or even to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is not the case. If I am on the right path and with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I am guided, that is for my own good. Yeah. So, Brother Abed, can we just put the cursor and go 
meaning of every yeah. word we start from how man is who whoever man yeah ihtada is guided fa innama then only yahtadi oh there is okay yahdi he is guided in nafsi for his own soul for his yeah yeah so wa man dalla dalla is go straight from adallin remember in surah fatih yeah. so, wa yeah. man whoever dalla go straight fa innama then only yadillu he goes straight against itself okay itself. okay alaiha so yadillu again look dalla fil madi yadillu fil mudare sorry you see that hmm. so i i yeah. i hope that you you start to appreciate that that mashallah you know a lot right and these all these words if you take on a face value by itself you know the meaning even right so yeah and only man and wow is and and man is whoever dalla goes astray yadillu he goes astray right because these are siga number ones yeah right and you can even tell me the the root words dad uh, lam and lam right yeah and here the alamat e mudare is ya ya that's it so wala then and not taziru will bear waziratu a bearer of burden wizra burden ukhra now look at that tazir tazir taziru waziratun wizra so waziratun is more like a burden master of burden so more like a is there either a master or oh. ismul fail something like that a bearer of burden like some some somebody so wizra again the root words are same but look at the variation of the words or the 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 structure and giving a different meaning in a different way right wizr or wizra is burden taziru will bear because ta is the alamat e mudari which covers both present and future right ukhra is of another okay wama and not kunna we muazzibina are to punish muazzibina muazzibina azab se is will file muazzibina the 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 one who punish hatta until hatta is until nabasa nabasa mean we have sent nabasa baasa baasa abuna rasula rasula is a messenger so i hope that uh, all along i have been recommending to read quran either through this tool which is uh, also very nice because you you have all the meanings right next to the word you don't have to uh, you know look for it to to you know nowhere else but here the beauty is you're testing yourself if you are in the mood to test yourself then use this tool hmm. you see my point so and so that's one of the reason i brought it out today because i really uh, express uh, or recommend this especially when ramadan is around the corner because ramadan is the month of the quran right mm-hmm. so if we are not focusing on the quran so far in the true sense that the way we should at least we gave it our full you know effort right so as brother um, abrar said that we need to improve our pronunciation so alhamdulillah i'm trying to read with the teacher but my teacher said that you know, at your age it's going to take a quite a bit of effort to fix it because you have been reading it wrong for a long time right but alhamdulillah i started it in last ramadan and i recommended every one of you that the best way to learn quran is to through with the teacher so now i have gone through with him uh, you know one year still learning and still trying to improve my pronunciation Uh, and again the handicap comes from the fact that uh, we never learned i mean i personally never learned tajweed when i was little so it's going to be a little bit of a, a learn a lengthy process for me but alhamdulillah i am on the way Allah. so inshallah with that i leave you with this uh, and then let's quickly look at some of our grammatical um, uh, concepts so in the review we were looking at or we last we stopped here so we said majrurun and harfu harfu jarrin okay so preposition and the genitive case the literal meaning of jarrin harf is particle of pulling so if somebody says what is jarrin mean a particle of pulling okay. 
Example of preposition, how many we have in the Quran? 17. How many we have seen in the Quran? 17. But over here, only four of them are mentioned. Fi, ala, min, ila. Right? So, al baytu fil bayti. So, tu got pulled to ti kasra because of the preceding fi. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. So, that is why if we go in detail, we say fi is harfu jarrin and al bayti is ismun majroorun. Yes. And in simple short, what we say? Jarun. Jarun wa majroor. It's the same as Jarun wa majroorun. Why? Because of fi, al bayt changed its status from rafa to jar. So when the status is changed to jar and it has the kasra, we call it that now this noun is majroor. It has been jarred. Right? If I, if I use the English jargon, I would say it has been jarred. Right? So when it's jerd, then we call it majroor. Oh, yeah. no. okay. So when a noun is uh, preceded by a preposition, it is said to be in genitive case, which is in Arabic majroor. So far so good? Yeah. Okay. All right. So the house, al -baytu, in the house, fil bayti is in the house. The al baytu was the house, and when you say fil bayti, then the, the meaning changes to in the house. So a house is baytun, and in the house is fi baytin. Because if you don't use the al, then you will say fi baytin. Making sense? Why, why there is a single kasra here? Because of al. Because of al. And here there are two kasras because there is no al. So what is the difference between al bayti and baytin? The house and the, the other house one or, or a house. In house. a house. So you can see the meaning changes in the house to in a house. You see that? And then I have been also trying to imprint in your mind this word Shibu Jumla. Right? So phrase is a shibu jumla. It looks like a sentence, but it is not one. Making sense? Yeah. Then there are some of these examples from the, the Quran, right? So Allah is what? On. On. So law anzalna hazal Qurana ala jabalin. Had we sent down this Quran? On a mountain. On a mountain. So look what happened to Jabalin. It went into Majroor state. Majroor. Mm -hmm. Khalak al insana min alak. He created man from a clot. So alak is a clot. And min is? From. So what happened to alakin? Because there it is? Jar Majroor. Majroor. Inna ila rabbina mun kalibun. And we shall but return to our Lord. What is ilah? Is two. And because of that, Rabbana. Okay. It's actually Rabbina. Because look at this. Uh, there is a Kasra. And when there is Shadda, there is a Kasra. Rabbina. Right, Abrar? Yes. Rabbina. So Rabbi yes. is? Majroor. Na is? Az. Right? Or our so why, Rabbina, why our. we are saying it's a kasra, it's a it's a fata because it's a... no no no. When there is a shadda, the style of writing is this. When there is a shadda and there is a uh, zair underneath, that means is the they don't put the zair here, they put it under the shadda. Oh okay, it's a just matter of the way they write. Yes. Okay. So if yeah, if you read it in a different Quran like from Urdu, uh, India, Pakistan, you will see the kasra over okay. here. Yeah. In the Arabic uh, or the Saudi Quran, you will see it. Now, if there is a Shadda and there is a Fatha on top, then it will be Rabbana or Rabbuna if there is a Fidamma here. Okay. Okay. This is, we know all of it. Uh, we all all familiar with this. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadri. Okay. So, ila Rabbana, because Rabbana is a Mubtad, uh, this is Mabri, so that's why it's not in general. No, no. It's Rabbina. Rabbin. 
ஒரு right so what is it becomes then who can tell me tawsifi tawsifi fi or izafi 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 because it's night off off yeah off yeah yeah so it will be tawsifi or izafi because mazaf mazaf il qadri are both uh, both in uh, uh, <laughs> okay now i think we have done this uh, before but think about it is laylati does it have al in it no no and what we said we said that uh, the tawsifi the sifa follows the mausuf in all four categories correct yeah yeah al qadri has al and mausuf layla does not have al okay okay so got it it cannot be tawsifi right but look at the other way around is laylati does it have tanween No. no. Does it have al uh, al? No. So it is, it is a good candidate for mudaf. Yes. I thought maybe fee is changing those things. So that yes. was my Yes, but it, so it, sh- it should have been Lailatul Qadri. Qadri, yeah. It should have been Lailatul Qadri if there was no fee, right? Yes. Yeah. So but with the fee it become Lailati, right? Which is okay. Al Qadri is mudaf ilay. because is the night of the night of power I, yeah yeah okay is everybody else on the same page as we are are we are we on the same page yeah yeah, yeah. yeah alhamdulillah okay just on oshin um, are you able Did to yes assalamu alaikum yes islam yeah yeah uh, are you following yeah. us are you good exactly yeah yeah definitely and uh, are you familiar with this already alhamdulillah yes sir. preposition yeah i am uh, like, you know when you have a preposition before a uh, noun it ch- changes into jar yeah very good yeah, alhamdulillah so wala tusalu an ashab al jahim now ashab al jahim again is it tawsifi or is it izafi 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 because when i see off right whenever as soon as i see a relationship i know is izafi yeah yeah the yeah. owners of hellfire the and thou will not be asked about the owners of hellfire yeah lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fil ardi now here again uh, you will see lillahi right and then ma again and here fi so samawati wa fil ardi you see how it happens and there is a harf e ataf in between yeah. yes mhm okay ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu istainu bis sabri was salah inna allah ma'a sabirin right so bis sabri what happened here because of the and because it is connected with the wow so as salati also become kasra <sighs> got it yes okay so i guess uh, let's today just leave it here sorry uh, brother on the yeah. previous uh, is ma is also harf e jar no oh this one you mean ma yeah ma it is ma uh, it is oh. it jar but it is there is sabirina inna allaha ma'a sabirina it is no, i think it is not recognized as a preposition but it has a similar effect yeah that's so that is what it is now uh we can uh, continue next time on this because i want to cover some vocabulary with, with you guys okay and we have only 10 minutes left so i think is a good time to do vocabulary are we good Yeah. Okay. So batta batta tun is duck. But biladun biladun country country or baladun is one country. Yeah? Uh 
did we this this last time or we did a different uh, one? I think this one. I think we did it in two phases. Okay, yeah. okay. Let's go to the next one then. Okay. Eidun is a festival. Okay. Hajrun is storm. Hakkun, Hakkul, or Haklun. Hajrun. Haklun is field. Right. Hadikatun is garden. Okay. So look at this. This was Haklun and Hukulun. So this is fields. The difference is fields. So is jama. it plural? Is it jama? Yeah, jama. Yeah, what kind of jama is it? Mukassar. Jama mukassar. Okay. Harfun. Is it hukulun? Yeah, so it is jama mukassar. Mm, it's hukulun. Yes, hukulun is jama mukassar. Mm. Okay, so it's not Jama Salim. Okay. Harfun. What is Harfun? Letter. Letter, letter of the oh. alphabet. Hurufun is the letters yes. of the alphabet. Multiple letters. Yes. Again, Hurufun, uh, Jama Salim or Jama Mukassar? Mukassar. Mukassar. Okay. Shirkatun. What is Shirka? Partnership. Firm a company. Sharikatun. Sharikatun. There is Shari. no ya. No, there is no there, there is no ya. Is is no, If you say shari, Shari, then there is a ya, right? There is no ya. Sharika. It has to be very short. Shirka. 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 It should be jam uh, dhamma Exactly. Dhamma. Yeah. No. Sharikatun, brother. Shin because of the kasra, that's fine. But if we prolong it, then we are also making the ya. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So we have to clear, you know, very careful Shari. that it's not too long. Shari Katun. Okay, Shari Katun is firm company. Hisanun. What is Hisanun? Horse. Horse. And Salajatun. Salajatun. Salasatun. Or was. That is French. Uh, in Arabic, they call it Thalaja. Like in a normal speaking uh, language, they call it Thalaja. Okay, Sadiqun. What is Sadiqun? Friend. Friend. Okay. Hafadatun. Friend, sir. Hafidun. More than one. Okay. So, Be Hafadatun open. is Jama Mukassar. Okay. Is it Hafid, Hafadatun grandsons? Is it male or female? Male. 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 male, but there is a gold there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is a uh, this is a uh, hakiki gender because we says grandsons, so there is no more doubt about that. We know that that's masculine. So those are one of the exceptions. We know that even though there is a tamarbuta, but you know that they say hakiki gender, you know the gender of the, the, the noun. Okay. Uh, Hafidun is grandson. Okay. Sadiqun was friend. What was the friends? Asdikau. Asdikau, right? Asdikau means friends. Is is Sadiqun coming from Sadiq, which is the truthful? Uh, well, no, no. It is the, the the root letters are same, but it could be a different bab. So yes, so we can we can say that, but the meaning is different. Okay. Right? So the bobs doesn't mean that that if the if the root letters are same, the the whole idea of having different bob is to give them different meanings. Right. So as the kau is a friend. Is the uh, what kind of jama is it plural or um, broken? Plural. Plural. Yeah, but plural. what kind? What kind is it's it? Broken. Broken plural. Why is it broken? Because the the structure of Siddiq yes. got changed or broken when we made the jama. If it was not broken, it would be Sadiquna. Yes, Siddiquna. So I think we have seen that word. So it's it's yeah. an exception. So we could see Siddiquna. Okay. Or a min 
is from. from. It's a preposition, right? Hakulun again, field. Hokulun, fields. Again, I don't know why they repeat it. Maybe they're just trying us to, to you know, repeat it so that we memorize it. Okay. Fakihatun. Fruit. Fruit, right? And we have seen this word in the Quran. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned Jannah and his fruits, it says Fakihatun, especially Surah Rahman. Yeah. Hadikatun. God. Garden. Hakibatun. A bag. A suitcase. A brief. Almania, Germany. Okay. Hulu one. Hulu one. Sweet. Alva. Alva is Arabic. Huh? Alva is Arabic word. I thought it's Persian, Farsi. No, no, we am just saying halwa is halwa sweet hota hai na? Full wood. Full wood. Full wood. Yeah, full wood. Okay. Um, Hafidun, we already looked at. Imarun, donkey. donkey. Uh, Hafadatun, grandson, grandsons, right? And uh, Hamamun, Hamamun. 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 Hamamun, sorry. It's a Hamamun. Yes, Hamamun. Yeah. Bathroom. Al Yunan. Al Yunan is Greece. Hayyun. Hayyun is city, district. I don't know that, but uh, if they say so, I feel it's a typo, but Hayyun is a district, okay? Green, Akhdaru. And Khalun is maternal uncle, you know, Khalun. Um, and Khalatun is uh, maternal aunt. Hum khalu kehte hain na? Khala khalu. Khala khalu, right? So ye khala aur khalu hain, yarbi wale. Yeah. Okay. So, de'fun is guest. Khafifun is light. So, guest will be... Waifun, isn't it? Waifun, okay. The du'ufun, the du'yufun. 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 Yeah, so that is the plural of guest. Guest. The jajatun. Hen or chicken. Nisfun is half. Yadun yeah. is hand. And the rajatun is bicycle. bicycle. Darsun is lesson. And durusun is lesson. Okay. Is it uh, Jama Salim or Mukassar Abrar? Salim. Yes. Mukassar. Mukassar. Okay. Mukassar. Anytime when the structure of the noun breaks, when you make jama, mm -hmm. then it's called broken. Oh, mukas. Okay. Mujtahidun. Hardworking. Hardworking. Mujtahiduna. Hardworking people. Is it jama salim or jama mukasar abrar? This is uh, salim, this one, I think. Okay. Why? Because of the... Because the whole of mushtahid is present in the jama without breaking. What about that noon then? Well, that is the sign of plural, right? Mm. That is the sign of plural, right? Okay. Yeah. So ra'sun, ra'sun is head. Yeah? Head. Head. Yeah. Daftarun is notebook. Daftarun is notebook. The student. What? That's a constitution. Oh, the student. We are yeah, constitution law. Okay. Yeah? We are all good? Yeah. Jayad Bhai, were you with, with us or you didn't say a single word? No, no, I'm listening and uh, observing. Okay, so so this is it for today, tonight, inshallah, and Jazakallah khairan for participation. And I hope we picked up some valuable uh, gems here, especially when we were doing the uh, the Quranic verses. That was very powerful. Alhamdulillah. So uh, you know, so next time I, I would recommend again that you know when you're reading Quran, maybe you want to do recitation and you don't want to bother about knowing the meaning and so. So there, is a, there could be a time of the day when you're just doing recitation and enjoying the recitation. But then there is a time of the day, maybe for five, 10 minutes, you want to use uh, these tools 
to ponder on maybe one verse a day or at least a part of the verse so that you're not just keep doing the same routine again and again, going from page to page without really connecting with the Quran. Yeah. So next week will be the last week before vacations. That's the support. Yes. So today is Thursday, right? So yeah. we're done for this week. And yeah. uh, so today is the first. So the next week will be Monday is uh, 12. No, no, five. five. So we'll have class on the fifth and the eighth, and then we'll be off for, uh, because see, okay. and then we can have another class if you want to, but I don't want to, because 13 could be the first Rosa. So and we have will be the Tarabi. Tarabi. So, Tarabi on the 12th, my friend, inshallah. Yeah, yeah. So inshallah. So tomorrow, the next week, two more sessions, and inshallah, we'll call it uh, some break. Um, but if, and I, I ask you this, if you guys are tired and you feel that this is too much, maybe, I don't know. If you want to continue for one more week, I have no problem. Yeah, we'll be fine with one more week, inshallah. Okay. And brother, uh, uh, yes. can we do the review for all of it? So we can just uh, take the last okay. class. Or just so, just okay. okay, sure, we can do that. But Sister Fazila, what we have been doing uh, from last few months, that on Monday, we mm -hmm. specifically focus on the, the Surah Al-Baqarah. We take one verse and we try to analyze it, right? Yes. And when mm -hmm. we're doing the analysis, we are basically doing a lot of review in that session. Then Thursday is nothing but a review, basically. We take one, you know, one concept and we went over. So we went over Jumla to Ismiya for a long time. And now, even today, this was the review, basically. Okay. You see that I did not introduce any new thing. I'm just going through uh, the same old stuff and adding some vocabulary. And also this document I showed you, the, the one with the green text in it. Remember the one we went over the preposition? Yes. That was all review. There are 77 pages in that book, right? Okay. So mm -hmm. every week I'm getting a chance to cover two or three pages. If you, if you open your WhatsApp, you will find all these documents in there. So if you go through that document, that is the review of the everything uh, or most of the things. Okay. Sure. But then if you have, okay, what we can do also next Thursday, we can also have a Q&A session. You can send me an, a note ahead of time. You can say, Brother Abid, I would like to understand this concept better. So maybe I can, uh, you know, focus on that and, and talk about that alone, right? That something you can't get past you and you're always stumbling on it. So you say, okay, Brother Abid, please, let's go over this topic. Instead of me picking a topic for you, you pick the topic and you tell me ahead of time so that I can, I can convey, convey the message to you on that day. Sure. How's that? Yeah. Hmm? That's good. And if you want, maybe I can give you an exam. <laughs> <laughs> There's some like, eager people on his court. Hey, eh? what's an exam? Yeah. Yeah, so, so I can give you an exam and, and then you guys wow. test your own knowledge. Yeah? Okay, so now I, know I see that uh, that's not going to happen. So we'll just stick with the review and ask me a question or, uh, you know, tell me something you want to learn. There, there wasn't any majority at this time on that one. I know, for exam, nobody will say a single word. So, yeah. Yeah, no, nobody wants to have an exam. It's a democratic system, my friend. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, Abrar. Um, so, uh, okay, uh, inshallah, let's call it a night. It's already 10 o'clock. So, Nahmudu, no, Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika wa nashir la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa nubu alayk. Jazak Allah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. Jazak Allah for wonderful and simple. Jazak Allah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi.